Hi everybody, John from Kaplan's Auction coming to you from the banks of the Chop Tank River in Cambridge, Maryland. Look at that beautiful view. Today we're going to take a look at the historic estate built in 1896 that we're going to be selling all the contents of public auction of this famous and historic home. So let's go inside and take a look and see what's in this sale. Ladies and gentlemen, the grounds are beautiful, absolutely beautiful right nestled on the banks of the Chop Tank River. Let's go inside this historic home and see what we have. Well, we step right into the porch and of course there's a nice pair of white benches, shoddy chic benches, antique benches right there. Look outside on the ground. So we step into the foyer well, we see our first piece of period furniture right there. Ladies and gentlemen, as you'll see in the sale, there is a lot of Heppelwhite, Victorian and Empire furniture, and Oriental rugs and art. So there's our first set right here. Nice gold gilded mirror right there. Some beautiful Oriental rugs. All through the house, all different sizes, many antique. Here's another wonderful piece right here as we move along. This will be a pretty quick uh, video, ladies and gentlemen. This is about a 25 room house. Good period chair there appears. About a 25 room house. And it's just chock full of just the finest of the finest. A little dark in this room, so we'll, we'll go quickly. Um, yeah, I know. It would have been a good idea to turn on the lights. But some good Victorian furniture here. There'll be, there'll be books as well. Again, lots of art and furniture. There's a good period Empire desk, as you'll see as we move along. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our first floor salon as we move along. That leads to the outside. Let's just take a quick look because it is a beautiful view out there. There's a chop tank. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a rainy day. Oriental items. There's an awful lot of Oriental items. There's some good Canton wear. Every room's got a mantle. The mantles stay, but the stuff on them and around them goes. There's a good oil painting. So when you have a lot of mantles, you have a lot of mirrors and a lot of oil paintings that are hung above them. And this house is no exception. Again, a much Victorian. Oh, missed that. There's a lot to be seen. There's a good antique barometer. Uh, looks like looks to be working as we move along ladies and gentlemen let's go into this room our favorite room in the house right here you won't believe this but look at the lattice work in this house now this stays with the house clearly but you just get an idea of the quality and workmanship found in this house and the personal property within the quality of the antiques the condition of the antiques everything's in really good shape but look at the lattice work there. There's another mantle. There's your deer head. Seems like every old house has a deer head. There's some modern furniture as well, as well to be expected. But most of it is period and the antique. There's a good brass piece there. As we move along, we'll just go back right out of this room and go into the dining room. There's a nice rose medallion lamp. We'll go right into the dining room, if we will. Take a quick survey. Again, another mantle. Hi, everybody. Another mantle with a nice Amari charger there. Here's a good period piece. Right there, Hepa White. Good argon lamp right there. There's a, a nice uh, Civil War print right there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're not showing you is all the items inside the drawers. We haven't gotten to all the drawers yet. We'll go through that as we get closer to the sale, but they're just chock full of items. As we move along into the dining room, here's a wonderful china closet. Look at the carving on that, and look at all the silver and goodies in there. Yes, they'll got to go as well. Everything must go. And again, more wonderful chairs. There's a 40s uh, a break front there. But look at this sideboard, just empire all the way. Original glass handles, just a wonderful piece. And uh, there's a nice banquet table, and there's chairs as well. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's the kitchen. We won't venture in there, but you get an idea. There's stuff everywhere. There's one of your convertible high chairs. Good butcher block in there. Um, let's go upstairs, ladies and gentlemen, if you will. Again, this is three flights of stairs. I usually get winded by the third flight. So bear with me, if you will, as we move up to the second level. Again, more oriental rugs. And as we came up the stairs, we missed that nice set of prints, war prints, right there. Good Victorian chair. And again, we're into the foyer of the second floor. And again, more period pieces. There's some Japanese wear. Um, good empire piece here. And above that is a terrific oil painting. It looks like Hudson Valley, perhaps. Good antique oil painting there. Again, we'll have pictures of these items up on our website and some more information. This is just a cursory, this is just a cursory look. No, that's on my phone. It's not a dog. So move along. Take a look at this crib, ladies and gentlemen. Just fabulous crib. Antique crib. Wow. Just absolutely gorgeous. We're in the main, uh, main uh, bedroom here, ladies and gentlemen. Another good empire chest. A nice mirror. Oh, that's me. Good sewing piece there. Recamier. There are some French pieces in here as well. Um, there's a good Sovereign Walla chair, that the U-shaped chair, they call that a fancy name for a U-shaped chair. Again, another mantle with some Durandals. Again, another great gold gilded mirror. Look at the face on this mirror here. Ladies and gentlemen, good face on that mirror. Again, a period card table. I'll tell you what, while we're in this room, let's take a look outside. Just another beautiful view. Let me see if my camera will adjust. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, take my word for it. It's a beautiful view. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for one of the best beds we've seen in quite a while, here's a great period carved sod mahogany tester bed. Look at that beautiful. Beautiful bed. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a look at the carving on it as we head into another room. Just fabulous carving on that uh, antique bed there. And again, Victorian washstand. Let's go into the second floor salon, if we will. Here's a good uh, Nichols rug. Good oriental rug, right? Chinese rug. Right? Again, another period bed. Again, everything in this house was totally decorated in period furnishings. Built in 1896. Very famous and historic home. Almost everything is of that period or earlier. There's some nice wicker. There's quite a bit of wicker in the sale. There's some on the porch as well, as you'll see. Nice sewing table. Um, again, another mantle. Surprise, surprise. And of course, when mantles come along, so do things that go on top. So there's a nice pair of Durandals right there. Um, here's a nice sewing cabinet. Good or antique oriental to piece here, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like be silver overlay. So we'll move along. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to tell you, but I'm moving up to the third floor. So here we go. This is a three-story home, and it is chock full. Again, this is Cambridge, Maryland. This is a preview for our auction in Cambridge, Maryland, Maryland via address and exact sale date and time. And better still photos will be available on our site at www.caplins.com soon. Good oriental panels there as we head up to the third floor. We'll just, let's just take a look down. Holy moly! That's a heck of a drop in it. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you attend this auction, you attend at your own risk. There's a great bucket bench right there. And again, we're on the third floor. There's some of the smaller items. We haven't shown a lot of the smaller items. There's 
some life items in there. Let's move around. Some good East Lake pieces. As we go into the upstairs bedroom. Again, more items. More, 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 as they say. There's a good Empire desk right there. Clocks or clocks here as well. Again, this is Cambridge, Maryland, on the banks of the Chesapeake, very famous and historic home. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, there's a good fire screen right there. Like an Empire chest. It's kind of getting late in the day. We have seen about uh, half of what's here at the sale, but I do want to leave us on this peaceful and serene day. Let's see if we can get a good view out that window. Well, not cooperating. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John from Kaplan's Auction bidding you adieu.